Drones have already raised questions about 21st century warfare. But while they have no pilots, they are controlled by humans on the ground. A human finger is on the trigger. Not so with lethal autonomous robots. They are programmed in advance. On the battlefield, they, not people, will decide what to destroy or who to kill. A prospect that worries human rights experts. Is it acceptable from the perspective of protecting life and human dignity that any kind of weapon that is used to kill humans, whether in peace or in war, will be controlled by autonomous robots? The technology is racing ahead of the moral questions. Can a robot distinguish between military targets and civilians, between soldiers who are still fighting and those who want to surrender? And who is accountable if something goes wrong? Because robots can't be prosecuted for war crimes. The UN wants answers before robots get any closer to the battlefield. War without reflection is mechanical slaughter. It is my considered opinion that in the same way that the taking of any human life deserves a, at, as a minimum some deliberation, a decision to allow machines to be deployed to kill human beings worldwide, whatever weapons they use, deserves a collective pause, in other words, a moratorium. The United States, Britain and Israel are all believed to be developing autonomous robots. Their response to the call for a moratorium was non-committal. Meanwhile, human rights groups would like to go further. As in the case of blinding lasers, they would like lethal robots banned worldwide before they ever get to the battlefield. Imogen Folks, BBC News, Geneva.